and welcome back to my channel. I'm Avi and I am ready to make you smile. Every single opera likes, every single production likes to put their own twist on, on these characters, on their, what they wear, what they dress, and how to make them relatable or are we going to keep it into the whole, um, time it was written, time it was supposed to take place. The design team has so much fun uh, being creative and discovering how to tell this opera story and I thought I would like to have just that much fun. Today I decided to do something extremely silly and I want to style what I think some of these characters would look like if they just walked among us today. If they were the Instagram characters of the 21st century or if they just you know just for fun like what would you wear if you were what would that costume be i would like to see what i would do with some of these characters so i've picked six female characters and no none of them are charlotte or tosca i just love watching videos like this there are so many on the internet and i go down a wormhole and kind of want to buy everything that these people try on but most of them also just say, oh, I got this at a secondhand store, got this at a charity shop, got this at the thrift shop, which means that you just can't go and buy it, which I do love, but I do want so many people's clothing. That being said, I am creating a new subcategory of aesthetic, and which doesn't really work as an aesthetic because every character is different. Instead of cosplay or, um, historical binding or Disney bound bounding. We're calling this opera core. Dressing according to characters of the opera. Many a times I've picked my Purim costumes or Halloween costumes according to characters of musicals and opera. I have dressed up as Abigail Adams in sixth grade in a school that wasn't in America and therefore no one knew who she was, but I saw 1776 so many times and I just really wanted to wear that blue dress. And then in eighth grade I dressed up as Christine from the Phantom of the Opera and once again no one knew who I was. It was just pretty much you dressed up as a goth lady. But I tried to recreate that costume from the movie. I'm not taking any crap about the movie right now. I'm just saying. I really love that black dress that she wears to the cemetery. So I tried to recreate it. But if you'd like to see more videos like this please comment down below Opera Corps and the character that you think I should do next. Maybe we'll do a man version next. But without further ado, let's get into these six ladies. Up first is Adina from the Elixir of Love. She is all about the popularity at school. I mean, she has been playing hard to get the entire time. And then Marino has finally made his way to be with her and be the boy on her arm. But unfortunately, he's late for this pre-prom photo shoot. Um, but she is super excited about her cute little number. She is hoping to win prom queen tonight. She was homecoming queen last year, so she should obviously be prom queen. What do you think? Hmm? Isn't she excited about her little red shoes that match her red lipstick and the hair that she did all by herself? And up next we have Marie from Daughter of the Regiment. She is your traditional army brat. She is raised in the army with the men and really just wanted to be one of them. But they still managed to make her feel very connected to her feminine side but to be honest i was getting a lot of mini vibes so we're gonna switch this to mini from la fachura del west and next up we have tatiana from pushkin's poems and Tchaikovsky's opera i always imagine her as such a bookworm and of course in her younger years a hopeless romantic and would definitely be an Austin fan.
Now, I'm not sure who started my nightmares about the turn of the screw, whether it was James Joyce or Britain, but either way, thank you guys. But with that being said, for this look, I totally went down the Clara from Doctor Who route. She really inspired this look because it's that English school teacher, but who's always ready for an adventure and always thinks that something fishy is going on and has a, an abundance of pockets. Now, with this one, I had some fun. <gasps> Your pirate chic runway style. We bring you the Carmen, Carmesita, trustee of the season. She's one with everything. She doesn't even need shoes. She's this season's Vogue and next season's Icon. She is Esmeralda meets Carmen meets Pirate. And lastly, the princess herself. We give you Salome. She is the party. She doesn't need the handbag. The handbag needs her. She doesn't need the scarf. The scarf needs her. She isn't just a muse. She is a goddess. Everyone this season is wearing red lipstick to be more like Salome. Yohanan didn't want the kiss because he knew it would kill him. And this season's red is called Salome Wants. And that's all, folks. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this very different, very funny um, video, but I hope you enjoyed this silly little video, silly little video, um, as I try to get back into making content regularly, I think there'll be more of these silly, easy to do, fun videos, because they don't take as much brain cells as the other stuff. But if you'd like to see more, please comment down below your favorite opera cores, and maybe what you would style these characters as, and tag me, and tag and use the hashtag OperaCore and I'd love to see what you come up with. And with that, I bid you adieu and I will see you very soon. Bye!